Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings to all of you. Welcome, soul family. Welcome, my tribe. Now, I want to talk a little bit about that which lowers our vibration. And we see that we have lists that come up talking about what indeed lowers our vibration would be alcohol, consumption of food and drink that is processed and that is not natural, being around negative people, negative ideas and thoughts, and the list goes on. What's fascinating to me is when I looked at this list this morning, I looked at it again, I realized that all of these items or this list and everything that was on there is actually connected to one umbrella and that is lack of divine guidance lack of true divine connection once a person is connected to divine guidance these actions and these particular what would i say what is the word that i would use behaviors they don't fit they cannot fit anymore if a person is connected to divine guidance they will be aware that alcohol is harmful they will be aware that casual sex is harmful they will be aware from the aspect of some of the i will say even the laws that have been outlined and it's fascinating to me because within spiritual groups or groups that don't want to and are not connected to religion if we look at everything that they are actually calling to it is that which is called to within religion it is that which is supported by divine guidance scripture and law as with any law you can choose to follow it or you can choose to break it as with any law there will be benefits if you abide by these laws and there will be harms if you do not abide by them. And so I find it fascinating because we want to sometimes separate by saying, no, I don't want to look at this religion. I don't want to see necessarily what this religion is talking about or I don't want to be connected to a religion. But at the same time, many people through trial and error are coming into resonance with the very teachings that are established within various religions, Islam included. And to me, that's, that's fascinating. It's quite fascinating because, again, I see it as an umbrella. If I am asking my creator for guidance and I'm connecting to, in my case, the scripture, connecting to the Qur'an and the teachings that are in the Qur'an, I would never end up actually falling into anything that's low vibrational. If I hold on to the teachings of the Quran and the example of Prophet Muhammad, then I would not be consuming alcohol, which lowers vibration. I would not be having casual sex, which lowers vibration. I would not be eating from the unclean, unhealthy things of the earth because Allah says in the Quran Kulu min ma razaqnakum, to eat from the good things that we have provided for you I would not be around negative people because I'm called to be around those who are going to uplift me and and encourage me upon a path that is ascending that is going to something higher and so on and so forth and so I feel that it's very important for us to not throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. It is important for us to recognize these divine truths. And that is my mission. That is what I feel so passionate about and what brings life to me when I am able to sit in a group and hear where people are coming from and also share that which is a benefit the old way of condemning and telling people well you're not on what is right or you are going to some place that you don't want to be in <laughs> you know that 
that could work for some, but I find that it's going to turn more people off, to be honest. And I don't believe that that is from the way that our creator wants us or that Allah wants us to carry out. I don't believe that is what Allah wants us to in actuality say or how... I don't believe it's in alignment with the higher way and the higher path. So I say that because even when we look at the example of Prophet Muhammad and who he was, he was known to be so kind, so gentle, so generous. He established himself in the community as someone who was honest and trustworthy. He established himself as someone who was able to to connect people who were were at odds with one another and so he had this this esteemed this esteemed uh, character that others recognized and it was upon that foundation that he was then able to warn people and tell people about the dangers of certain types of um, behaviors and being separate from the creator and being against uh, that which was beloved to Allah. So what I'm saying is that I believe there's a foundation that many of us have not established and yet we want to build. There's a foundation that many of us have not laid down and yet and may have not even fully internalized in our own life and yet we expect others to come on board and be like us. And to me, that's ridiculous. The best is that we ask for guidance, for clarity. And once we've been given that clarity and that truth, we live it to the best of our ability. And when we truly live it and we internalize it, then the right people will come to us and the right people will be inspired by us. We will be an inspiration. So... The takeaway of this is that, from my own observation, a high vibrational lifestyle and all of the principles that are being that are being promoted to have this and all of the things that we're being told to stay away from are already present in Islam. And basically when I say Islam, I mean that submission to divine guidance, that desire to be connected to the creator and through that connection to attain that which is beyond our wildest dreams. So that's it. Uh, today is now day eight of me having water and coconut water and a bit of coconut as well. And I feel great. I feel really good. And I don't have any set fast hard rules of what I'm going to be doing or not doing. I just know that I want to strive as much as I can to, to be in alignment with what I know serves me, with what I know my body loves and what my body wants and what she is asking for. So if any of this resonates with you, please, please, please send me a message, write a comment. Let me know below that it resonated because that encourages me. Those of you who have come to me and DM and maybe not posted a public message and have said to me, Hasna, that touched me, that affected me, that really resonated with me, that means a lot. But when others see that, it does encourage them to not only respond as well, and then there's that engagement, but then it can build more community. Also, I would really love for you to show me some love as well on my Instagram where I'm updating and giving posts as well having to do with what I'm doing at the moment which is not only connected to what I'm eating but also some things that I'm experimenting with creatively trying to build making connections for a sustainable clothing line anyone who happens to be a designer anyone who is interested in co-collaboration and is open to travel and open or even in Asia right now, 
feel free to contact me because I'm definitely looking to connect. Anyone also who's interested in co-collaborating with a retreat that may have to do with cleansing or healing and uh, it could be having to do with weight loss, having to do with detox and bringing it from a holistic standpoint, please feel free to contact me. I would love to discuss with you and see what's possible. If we can conceive of it, then it is capable of being brought into manifestation. Lots of love. Anything that I have said that's incorrect is from myself and all good is from the Creator. Peace and blessings to all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.